There's been many wrongs done in the past. And today we don't even trust the white man coming under this reservation. You cannot blame us for that. We don't want to be a Canadian citizen. We don't want to be American citizens. They told us a long time ago that we were North American Indians. And today we feel this way too. We have feel this way because we think that this reservation is ours. And it does not belong to the white man. <coughs> it's the only part we still have left. The people of Okwazasne, which the white man calls the St. Regis Reservation, have lived on this land long before the two countries decided to draw a line between themselves. That line was not meant for Indians, and our right to cross it with our belongings, paying no duty, was confirmed in the Jay Treaty of 1794. The Canadian government never got around to making this treaty into law, and now they say we must pay duty on our groceries as we carry them to our houses, if we happen to cross their line. Many of us have to pay a dollar to cross the bridge they built on our land, and they even build a custom house there too, without our consent. We went to Ottawa and talked with officials and got no answer. So we took action ourselves. Notice, this is an Indian reserve. Any person who trespasses on Indian reserve is guilty of an offense and is liable on a summary conviction to a fine not exceeding $50 or to an imprisonment for a term not exceeding one month or to both fine and imprisonment. That's what it says, and that's what we're going to use. Their own medicine. On December 18, 1968, the usual heavy traffic between the two countries ground to a stop. We decided to block the bridge. Uh, this is international, uh, put it on all the cars. Uh, Give it to some of the other kids, pass it around. Yeah. Well, put it on the inside. Right here. Better yeah, we can leave it up front. Hey, in front of we can get a scotch tape too, huh? It was eight above with a cold wind. Mike Mitchell had forgotten his gloves, and no one had thought about bringing scotch tape. We only have some scotch tape. I don't need a lot now. All right, here's the first roadblock. Here. Then the police arrived. To be part of the St. Regis Indian Reserve. And therefore, and therefore the people who are coming people here who will are be trespassers. trespassers. Well, I we can't allow the road to be uh, blocked, understand? This is contrary to your, our laws. Well, you yeah, understand right. also that this is part of the reserve. Right? Yeah, I understand and also your under the Indian Act, and also there one. is That's a law. Mm. These, right. these are our lands. We're just standing mm -hmm. on it. Uh, we're having a meeting now, and uh, we are Indians on our own land, and if anybody comes on and causes trouble, we <coughs> charge them with trespass. Well, that's all right, but now I'm asking you fellas to get off the roadway. You're blocking the road between two countries, and this we can't allow. And you won't listen to our so. reason. Yeah? Well, I listen to your reason, if but what can I do? Up. This is the law. 
You the can't block the road. The, the law states no, the U.S. peace officers have to enforce this. Now, you're on Indian land, under the Section 31 of the Indian Act, specifically to a peace officer. What about Any the code of blocking the road? This is then, part of the reserve, no? Uh, yeah, there is. Then there was a... Uh, well, well, I don't understand you. Until, until, okay, until they can prove it different. Tell us we're not on Indian land. Then you can come in and arrest who you are. Mm -hmm. But up well, until that uh, now, anybody not... interferring with us will have to arrest you. This is why I'm sorry. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have a lot of people to arrest. <laughs> I suppose. There's no Mary. Mary. We've got to stand here. We're going to stand here ourselves. Let them take us. Because there's going to be more. Bring the... Get everybody to bring their cars over here. Give me a lunch. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. They're right in here. Oh, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know John Boots remarked to Mike that the police weren't wearing their badges. What, my number? Yeah, number 40. Number 40. Write that down. You write that down. That's the uh, city police, thank you. That's right. Look up there, this is the house. I have no number. My name is Deputy Chief Poirier. Chief Poirier. Oh, is it Deputy? <laughs> Chief Poirier. Sergeant Snyder. Sergeant Snyder. Corner Police. Sergeant Snyder. All right. You fellas also realize you're on Indian territory? When people asked Ernie Benedict who sent the police, he told them the government sent them, I suppose. But they came from the city of Cornwall. Cornwall claims to have annexed our island, though according to the law, only the federal government has authority over the little land that we have left. The way we're going to have to arrest you for obstructing justice. What's the time, Mike? 9.20, or 9.35. Who is it? Sarah Sherrill. I know it. We're not going to have no police brutality or anything. Well, there won't be any. You don't have to worry about Well, that. if there is, it'll go all over the country because there's your quarters from all over. It has been said that a number of white people from Cornwall turned out to join us. But the only white people we saw except for policemen were reporters and photographers. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. People shouted in Mohawk, don't get mad, don't fight back. We don't want that. No. Oh, come on. Mike, I got you know, this is going all over the world. That's fine. The brutality. Okay. They tell us 20,000. And that's how much it's going to be here. Okay, I got to see you in here. Come on. It's alcohol now. It's alcohol now. It's alcohol now. Come on. Let him run over. Let him run over. Let him run over. Let him run over. Come on, come on. 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 Come
Now, there are two things that were to be decided here. That we, on this land, on which we stand, the other, the uh, customs officers have been uh, enforcing laws which are in violation of an international treaty. These are the two issues. The country of Canada has uh, the responsibility of keeping its good name among other nations, and not only with just Indians. So we are faced with a demonstration here in which we have shown that we can act peaceably. The officers have asked us now to call off the demonstration. We want to leave it to you uh, to decide. Now, each of us is very excited. And even though we have not used any forts that I could see, against the police. Uh, still, there may be some anger in our, in our minds. Now, how do you feel about this? Shall this continue longer? Yes. Yeah, it, has, it has to. They took our being to jail already. What's the matter? Why, no, really they, no. The, point is, the point is, you cannot make a bargain. You cannot make a bargain with the with the police, you cannot make a bargain with the, with, the, with the government. You can't make a bargain at all with them. We know we, we, we're doing the right thing because this is Indian land. And these people here are trespassers. We know that, they know that, and they, they have no right to come here and to throw the Indians off their own land. We have to stay here, we cannot leave. We gotta stay here till they take the last Indian. Until there's not one other Indian left. We're going to, we're going to, to scare us, but we don't scare easily. 
Canada is now trying to break laws. They are not following the laws. They are lawless. And you know that anybody who doesn't follow the laws is going to die by lawlessness. There's going to be bloodshed in this country <coughs> because they don't follow the laws. Remember, we're it isn't us that's law. breaking the law. We're They're saying we're the breaking the law. We are not the breaking a, the law. We are not breaking the law. We are doing what is right. Okay, and the well, world is looking at us. Are. The whole world is looking at us right here and now. Are we going to give up? No. 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 Or are we going to fight until there's not one Indian left here? No. Yes. 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 Are we going to call? Are we going to send out a call to our brothers and sisters all over North America to come and help us? Yes. Yes. We're asking you to move. Now, uh, you've had your your meeting and you've made your point. Please move. We're not moving. Okay then. Come on, let's get it. Oh, Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Is that right now? Oh, oh. Turn women's clothes. Ah, that's that's a very good up. point, eh? Very good point, eh? Holding up this thing any longer. I, uh, Give us who we want. I cannot order anyone. I can oh, I speak you. for them. <laughs> but, uh, I am not that. Uh, but I have not been delegated any authority to, over them. For Is the there people, anybody uh, here with authority? I, I don't know. The, uh, <clears throat> uh, the, as far as as far as I can see among these people, they are all uh, free people, and uh, they each have. Uh, their own uh, conscience to deal with, they must act according to, to their own uh, uh, initiative, their own, uh, they must uh, judge for themselves what they will do. Now, this is my own uh, personal opinion. I have no authority over anyone. I cannot order anyone to do anything. Well, uh, as far as I can see now, the uh, Indians have made their point. I see no uh, reason why you should block this road any longer. Now, I'm going to ask you once more to move these cars out of here. These people who own these cars better remove them. Otherwise, we're going to have to uh, use force to do so. Are you uh, working for... Well, they're... Uh, are you from Ottawa? No, I they, no, I'm not with the federal well, police. Well, will the officer uh, tell tell us uh, just to what extent we have made our point so far. Uh, the, uh, it's going to be in all the news medias. You've got recognition. We want more than that. Sell over come! <laughs> <laughs> sell over come! Uh, we yeah, shall... <laughs> Don't you think, Mr. Benedict, the point has been well made there now, and uh, can't, uh, not going to gain anything further here? Uh, I have told them that, uh, that they have made their point. Uh, uh, I think what you should do now is go back to the negotiating table with the, with the authorities and uh, discuss the matter with them. Not, uh, yeah, you heard whether there will be a negotiating table immediately. Well, I haven't heard I nothing. I don't know what uh, your uh, superintendent has heard. I haven't heard a thing. I was talking to Mr. White Bean this morning, but uh, he wasn't uh, too clear as to what was taking place. The band council chief didn't know what was going on either. If they made their point, why don't they to, to clear the road up? I want to get home. I'm a sick man, that's all. I just come out of the hospital. I want to get through and I want to get back in bed. They won't listen to you? They might jump on him. Oh, he, he's our chief. They won't, they won't jump on him. Hey, uh, I'll go there. Who, who is the chief of police? Mr. Clark's there. Is he here? He's here. I want him to give me a permit to handle uh, a sidearm. And then I'll get off. Oh, you won't need them. If you want to come, we'll guarantee your safety. Is you give me a permit, I'll get up, I'll go over there. Will you talk to them? Yes. Well, you come with me then. You give me a, you, you give me a permit to carry my arm? No, no, I can't give you a permit to carry no. arms, but if you want to come over and talk to them, I'll take you over. Get this damn thing out of here. Okay, I'll okay. get my damn car, Jack. Uh, 
jack crank and I'll smash that thing on your face. Okay, boy. Come on. Okay? In Ottawa, they say the band council chief is a nice old guy that doesn't make trouble. They consider him our representative. Many of us do not, as most of us do not vote in elections for the band council. It is our way of protesting against an elective system imposed on us by the Canadian government. Get them fellows out of the road. What is the police department doing over here? Take this clear the road off. Okay, come on. We had fine men on the band council who resigned because they felt it does not carry our wishes to Ottawa, but brings Ottawa's wishes to us. The chiefs in St. Regis are like puppets. Whatever Ottawa says, pulls the strings and they do it. And now Ottawa won't listen. So we had our grievances to the uh, chiefs in St. Regis by the Indian Act. We put a petition and they don't listen to us. They just toss it aside. So we go to Ottawa, send some delegations to Ottawa. Well, they said, we have nothing to do. You have to go back to the chiefs in St. Regis. So we're pushed around. <laughs> so now that, that has come to this. And unless Ottawa agrees and helps us, all well, determination is we'll have to go on and keep blocking this road until Ottawa agrees. That's the will of the people. That's what they want. They don't want to be hushed up anymore. They want to talk. They want to have their own ways, their own laws in which to get by. They don't want to be hushed up by the chiefs or by Ottawa. They have to make an expression. We, we contacted the Prime Minister of Canada. We told him that we want an audience with him. We were a delegation from the people of St. Regis. We wanted an audience to discuss uh, the problems of excise tax on Carnival Island. He refused to see us. So our argument is with the Prime Minister. He refuses he to expect, recognize us. You wouldn't expect us. to go right up there and, and see him without... Why not? Well, well unless... Why not? unless He's a busy man. So, so are we. Busy too. Oh, I so realize that, but you wouldn't expect to have the Prime Minister. He's working, working, working for the people. Oh, so I know. We have waited all these years. 101 years. You've made your point. 101 years Why of injustice, and he hasn't and, got two minutes to, to spare for the Stop Indians. Talk to the people. Yeah. Ask the people what they want. Why don't you do this? Yeah. You've made your point. You've got nothing further to gain here today by leaving your cars where they are. Move them. Open up the bridge. Oh, yes. We are making our point in Ottawa this way. That's what you've we're gaining. You've made it. You've made it. That's what we're gaining. We want it strong. We want to make it strong. Well, you're made it strong. I can't see what's going on. You're going to make it. Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to remain stronger because the residents of Cornwall and the residents of Messina are going to be getting out of work soon and they're going to want to get home. No, well, we then, can't do yes. that. We're not going to keep the bridge closed much longer. Well, well we yes, told we you. Are. We told you. We are. told you. We 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 told We are. If you want to arrest us, if you want to arrest me, no, we don't want say so. We're we'll go with to reason. We'll go with you peacefully to your jail. No, no. It's We're warm not. there. You have to it's warm there. We don't have to stay out in the call. Then you can not have to stay out in the call. That's enough. Okay, okay, boy. <laughs> Thompson was the only member of the band council who was with us that day. Others later said they were behind us. We asked, what are you doing behind us? You should have been out there with us. They're putting them in a dungeon. 
As soon as a car had been towed away, it was pushed back into the blockade again. Come on, get out of the way, Cat. Watch the window, get out of the way. Hold the horn! Hey, 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 that's going to happen! Hey, 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 hey,
Mua ei ole tahtsa. Koga on ka mua ei ole nah. Okei, ole kõik toa mua ka ei ole vahte. Aga ka on kohingadi ratiksa loo. I am very much worried that there may be mistakes made and that afterwards the the things that we are arguing about that we have grievances about will not be the ones to be uh, judged. I am worried that uh, as tempers become short there may be uh, bodily harm to somebody, somebody may get hurt and uh, I do not want any of my people to be hurt. So I am asking that this group will meet together at the uh, recreation hall, the community hall on Cornwall Island to decide what more should be done. Uh, legal advice needs to be gotten and uh, we need to think about the ones who have been taken away and that the trial of the grievances in which we have a uh, uh, an interest will be fair and will be heard. I think that it is enough. Now, those who are of that opinion will come down to the community hall. We were acquitted when we were finally called to court. We were encouraged by the support we received from across the continent and from far away as Peru and Europe. But our questions remain unanswered. We were to have many meetings with representatives of the five federal, state and provincial governments which claim jurisdiction in Akwazasna. We want to make it very clear that our feelings is very strong. Even Mr. Krejcian said, I understand how you feel. He says, the Indian Act is there for you because you're a minority. He says, you feel very bad about it. He says, I'm a minority group. I belong to the minority group myself. He says, I understand how you feel. And why doesn't he have a French Act if he's a minority? We have an Indian Act. We're a minority. That was a wrong thing for him to say. But if it's going to have to be that way, I think you should have an Indian for a minister for French affairs. <laughs> In a system which you got now on this reservation, one half of this reservation legislates laws, and on this side the other. Even though we are cousins, we are brothers and sisters. We have to live like this. We don't like it, and we don't want to live by it anymore. An Indian man here will marry an Indian woman from across the river, or vice versa. She has to sign off this reservation, and she has to sign a paper that says that she married a non-Indian. She gets a little check, and she, she sells her Indian. She's not an Indian anymore. But she married another Indian. Now, what kind of a system is that? I think that's white man's system. Mr. McGill, would you, going back to Ottawa, or to Toronto, would you do anything personally to uh, study the uh, question of the border separating a nation or dividing a nation into two parts? <laughs> the chairman, I, I would report the kind of comments and questions and the, ob the feelings that have come out here. That's all I would do. We don't get any direct answers from the authorities. Why was the bridge built according to a deal made between the St. Lawrence Seaway and the Indian Affairs before consulting with us? Why was more land expropriated than was needed? Why have we not yet been paid for damage to our farmlands and beaches? The agreement with the Seaway specified that the Customs House should not be built on our land. Yet there it now stands, along with an office building, garage, gas lines, custom shed and a toll station.
Other Indian nations across the continent share the same problems. Our neighbors pollute our land. The little that we have left is nibbled away by lease, appropriation, annexation. Our treaty rights are forgotten. Other people's borders divide us. Our councils are still supervised by white civil servants whose duty it is to guide us to civilization. I think we were a, lot, a lot of times we were more civilized than the white man at point of history. We didn't trick anybody. We never broke a treaty. But that Jay Treaty, that Treaty of Ken, which reaffirmed it, stated in there that the Indians were obliged to cease making wars on the white man. You see, Mr. McGillop, when that treaty was broken, that meant that we must again have been at war with the white man. Because when you break a treaty, this is what it signifies. And it's supposed to show you we are still at peace. We didn't break our side. We didn't go to war yet.